Hey everybody, this is Taylor with NAS Toys here to tell you about all of the newest releases from November and January. But before I get started, I do want to address one thing and that is fill rate. And I know that some of our competitors have had a hard time filling due to the coronavirus, but we are filling between 95 and 98% still at NAS Toys. So all of these items that I'm gonna show you here today have been released and are currently shipping. Um, this doesn't mean that we don't have out of stocks from time to time. We of course do run into that. We manufacture 2,500 items, it's going to happen. But we are filling between 95 and 98%. Um, our fill rate is especially phenomenal on our strokers and on our rubber uh, PVC products, so all of our dongs. And I'm actually going to get started today by showing you a new line of dongs from us at NAS, and that is our Hero Collection. So these are actually the same as the American Whoppers. Um, American Whoppers were a bestseller for us for over 30 years. But here within the last year, maybe people haven't been feeling as all American, or maybe that term has taken on a different meaning for a lot of people. And uh, so we actually saw a little bit of a decline in the sales of the American Whoppers. And for our international customers, all American didn't really mean much uh, for their customers. So we have repackaged them. We still do have the original American Whoppers available. They're not gonna go anywhere, but we have a different packaging option available now. So these boxes are very sturdy. You're gonna notice I'm pressing from both sides. They are like a reinforced thicker cardboard and not that the thin flimsier packaging that we're used to seeing a lot of dongs in. These also do come taped at the bottom and once on each side here at the top. Again, that's just a little bit of customer feedback that we're putting into practice. So these boxes are really gonna stand up during shipping. And then when they're hung on the wall, you're not gonna have to worry about any kind of tearing here because of it being nice and thick. Uh, one thing I wanna point out on the bottom of every single NAS Toys package, you're gonna notice there is the product dimensions for insertable length, total length. Um, if this were a rechargeable item, it would also list the charge time and use on full charge time. And then it also shows a bottle of NAS Toys toy cleaner and says, please clean with toy cleaner on the bottom of every package. Back to our heroes. We only release these in the six and a half through seven and a half inch sizes here in January in the one skin tone. We do have two additional skin tones and multiple other sizes that will be released over the next few months. So you have to look for those coming soon. Um, in the sizes that we've already released, we did do one uncircumcised style and you can guarantee to see at least one of the, uh, that variety in every series that we do moving forward as we're trying to be far more body inclusive. Um, these are all harness compatible suction cut bases. The biggest thing about uh, our Hero line and these PVC dongs is that they are very, very affordable. So the six and a half through seven and a half range are all gonna retail comfortably under that $30 price point. Um, I know that some people have had concerns about PVC, TPE, TPR, and have had some questions about those materials. We only use body safe materials at NAS Toys. Our customer safety is always first. So yes, this is a PVC product, but PVC can still be made body safe. Um, the old PVC, kind of the, the mental state I think a lot of people think of, was like that really uh, kind of gummy, slimy, stinky. And uh, that comes from using cheap plasticizers and cheap chemicals and cheap ingredients in creating the product. And uh, we don't do that at NAS Toys. And you're gonna notice if you take this product out of the box, this does not have any kind of a greasy feel. This doesn't have a really bad uh, gas kind of smell or chemical odor. It's just your dong, as you would expect it to be. You're not going to have any like greasy patches on the inside of the box from where it laid. Um, I know that those are some things that some of you may have seen from PVC products previously. And a lot of that comes from either um, using not the greatest ingredients, or it could also be from the release agent or the that they use to get the product out of the mold. If they don't kind of wipe that down and get it all the way off. Um, then you would notice that kind of sitting in the package a little bit. So sometimes that is what that greasy feeling is. It's just from the releasing agent. 
but we are very careful in that our products do not come feeling greasy and gross and they do not smell nasty. Moving right along, we have our very exciting AVN award winning 10 piece traveler bondage and restraint kit. So this is the box here. I flip it around. You can see on the back, it's going to show all of the pieces laid out. The way that this kit comes, you have a really nice faux leather bag here. And this is like a, a nice, it actually looks and feels like real leather. This isn't like that 1990s plasticky pleather. So this is a nice faux leather. You have two magnetic little buttons on each side. I'm gonna open those up. And then you flip your little lock here in the middle and your bag unrolls. So all of your pieces and parts fit right in here. And I went ahead and I left the leash in there so you could see how the pieces fit in. So this is really convenient for maybe somebody who travels or if you would just like to keep all of your bondage pieces and parts in one nice nifty little spot rather than having them shoved into a drawer or in a duffel bag or however you have them stored right now. The pieces in this kit are phenomenal. I know that we're used to seeing um, cuffs and uh, restraint kits usually being maybe a little bit kind of cheap or a little chintzy. This is not one of those kits. This is not just a cutesy little, um, you know, plasticky feeling cuffs. These are very well made. So the cuffs, the collar, uh, the ankle restraints, these are all actually neoprene. So they're nice and thick. Neoprene is also moisture wicking very comfortable, kind of that wetsuit material. You're going to see that there is no plastic anywhere in this collection. There is no Velcro. Everything is metal buckles. You have nice metal D-rings on the center of each cuff, ankle restraint, and collar. These are actually riveted down, not glued. And then you're going to see here all of these little holes that our buckle goes into. These are grommeted. So again, just making this a more durable product. Also in that kit, we have a matching blindfold. You see this color is kind of like a coppery gold color. We have a paddle. This is double sided. It has a good slap and some flexibility. The wrist loop is actually an adult size wrist loop, not one of these tiny little just for show kind of hang loops, but an actual functional wrist loop. Same thing with the whip in this collection. It is nice and long and full size, not one of these teeny tiny little tickler whips that most kits come with. Also has a nice sized wrist loop. The ball gag in this collection is 100% silicone. You have three nice big breathable holes here. And again, it's silicone all the way around the metal D-rings on both sides. It's stretchy here. And then the buckle style. This does come with metal chains to connect your ankle and wrist cuffs. And this is my favorite part of the kit. These are the nipple clamps. So these kind of look like earrings. They're very lightweight, adjustable tweezer tip style, really shiny. So right now, this kit is only available in this kind of coppery gold color here. We do have the maroon red coming and that will be available in late March. All right, on to our lustful collection. This is one of our, my favorite things we've done recently at NAS. I love the packaging on this collection, uh, much cleaner. We've actually taken a lot of the words that used to be on the front of the box and we've put them all on the side. And you'll start to notice this with NAS Toys products moving forward that will list the functionalities, features, waterproof, rechargeable, all that fun stuff here instead of trying to cram all that information onto the front. Also, you'll see this little cutaway here on the side 
This shows the customer that this is a book box. It flips open so they can view the product right here without having to pick your packages apart in store. Previously, our book boxes didn't have this cutaway, so customers didn't realize that they could flip open. So we've added that little feature there. This is our Lustful Climaxer. So this little guy here is so small and so lightweight and very, very discreet. This is seven functions, rechargeable. You're gonna press and hold this center button here to turn on. This is whisper quiet. And again, so discreet, it almost looks like it's a facial massager or something of the sort. You could leave this on your bathroom counter and your mother-in-law, your kids, they're not gonna think that this is a sex toy. It's very much, uh, it looks like something else in the health and beauty sector. Um, the great part about this is this is not just a clitoral stimulator. The Lustful Climaxer is more of a pleasure wand. So all of the uh, vibration is gonna be centered here in this little ball. And you can use this to stimulate the, cl the clitoris directly, or you can stimulate that U spot, which is kind of this rainbow shape that goes around the top and the sides of the clitoris. Or you could use this under the testicles, on the nipples, or wherever else you'd like during your uh, foreplay. Um, you could even hold this down there clitorally during intercourse. This is nice too for people that maybe want a little bit of extra reach and they don't wanna have to hold a bullet all the way down there. So give them a, a few more inches. Um, as I mentioned previously, this is a very lightweight product. It only weighs a couple ounces. So for our online shipping customers, this is a really great option. That can have much for shipping costs. Also new to our Lustful collection is the 10 function Lustful G, also with our book box. The box does point out twice the little roller ball here at the tip, again there on the inside. This is available in two colors. We have the eggplant, which our Lustful Climaxer is available in, and then also this pink here. You'll see that these are very flexible. So there's a lot of bend here. Not everybody's bodies are shaped just like this. So that bend is very important. It's gonna fit more comfortably. There's all kinds of little nubs here to help stimulate internally, and then nubs here again for the clitoral stimulation. You're gonna press and hold your top button to power on. I'm sorry, press and hold your bottom button to power on. And then press and hold your top button to control your vibration and the bottom button to control your roller ball. So you have three different speeds for your roller ball, which is not wanting to function right now. And you have 10 different vibration pattern settings. So three speeds for your roller ball, 10 vibration settings. This could also be used as a prostate toy. So not just for a G-spot, but can also be prostate. Again, with that flexibility, if being used prostate-wise, this part here would hug against the testicles instead of the clitoris. To power off, you're just gonna press and hold the bottom button to turn off your roller ball. Press and hold the top button to turn off your vibration. The last new item in our Lustful collection is the Perfect Lover. So I know that this is a shape maybe you've seen before. We've seen some C-shaped toys out there, but ours opens all the way up. So you have all this flex and give here. Just like I explained on the last product, not everybody's bodies are shaped just like this. So this is gonna fit more variety of shapes and sizes. This product can be used solo or with your partner. So you can insert vaginally and then your partner slides right in with the product. The inside's gonna hug up against the G spot and the outer part against the clitoris. You have 10 functions, which you're gonna control by this little button right here on the front, press and hold to power on, press and hold to power off. You have two motors, one internally, and then another here. So you're getting really powerful vibration having one motor and each point of pleasure. And again, nice and flexible. I also just wanna say anytime that you're using a partner product where the penis is sliding in with it, 
even though this is super soft and silky silicone, we want to make sure that we're using a good water-based lubricant because this can kind of still pull at the skin a little bit and we don't want to cause any kinds of irritation. So lots and lots of lube when we're using partner toys. Um, I do want to point out too that I know that some manufacturers say that their silicone lube is okay to use with certain silicone toys, but at NAS, I fully believe that we should use water-based lubricants with all of our silicone products. We have not done further testing to say otherwise, and I just want to make sure that our customers are keeping their products, um, you know, in one piece. Um, we want to make sure that they're not deteriorating them or causing them any harm. So water-based lubricants only with NAS Toys Toys. All right, moving right along to the Intense Collection. This has been a best-selling collection of bullets and small vibes for us that we started releasing about two, three years ago. Uh, we have two new additions to this collection, one of which uh, the Intense Dynamic Vibe. Just like the rest, all of the packages, uh, the new packaging for the Intense is still the same black packaging. Nice part about this, it's very uh, gender neutral. This can go in any section of your store if you still merchandise your store that way by like a boys toys or, you know, female bullets. This can go in either section. This comes in three different colors. We have red, pink, and silver. You're going to see this is kind of a fat bullet. It's really square shaped, not your traditional smaller round magnetic charging here on the bottom. You have seven very powerful functions. This is more of a gyrating style bullet rather than that high intense buzzing. I'm gonna see here, turn this on high, it's kind of jumping out of my hands here. That gyrating sensation is caused by having a heavier counterweight in the motor. So it makes the motor turn slower and it has more of that hopping, jumping sensation than that high intense buzzing. And again, those were the intense dynamic vibes. Also new to the intense collection is the anal vibe. Why do we call this an anal vibe and not a butt plug? Well, this really doesn't look much like what we're used to seeing as a butt plug. Usually a butt plug is going to have a really broad, flat base. So even though, yes, this is still a plug, we've just decided to call it an anal vibe. You're gonna notice very, very soft and flexible here at the base. So that's gonna make it much more comfortable for wear and for use, especially for beginners. This is very soft and silky silicone. You're gonna press and hold the bottom button to power on, press and hold to power off. You have 20 vibrating functions. Very, very quiet. As you can see, you really can't hear this at all. And I know it's kind of hard to see with my light, but this is a blue LED light on the bottom if you want your booty to glow in the dark. And this is available in three colors. We have pink, purple, and black. I've had a couple people say to me, are we sure that this is a flanged enough base for anal play? And my answer to that is that if a customer is concerned that their sphincter is not going to close, um, around the base of this here, that this is too small uh, for them, then this is probably not the sized uh, anal product they're going to be buying. For a beginner, this is absolutely enough of a flange to use for an anal product. All right, on to our love collection. We have... The Double Dong. This product is only available in pink and is bendable. So not just bendable, but actually poseable where the sides are gonna hold their shape. Each end is shaped a little differently. This one's kind of a phallic penis-like shape. And then on this side, you have like a smoother, slender option. This is rechargeable, magnetic charging here in the center. To power on, you press and hold the button in the middle, and you will see there is an arrow to the right and an arrow to the left. 
The right button controls the right side, left controls the left. Each side has three functions and can be controlled independently. Again, very quiet, but very powerful. Dual motor, one on each side, and those motors are located at the very tip where the vibration really counts. Also in the Love Collection, we have our Love Contoured Pleaser. Just like in the Lustful, these are also in our book box. You can flip open and see the inside. The Contour Pleaser is available in two colors. We have pink, and then we also have this gorgeous teal color here. It's like kind of a mint. So this product is very unique because it has three motors. So you have one here clitorally, one in the G spot, and then there's also a motor right here at this little hump. So why the third motor? We all know why we want G spot. We all know why we want clitoral, but why do we have this motor here at the bottom? So during penetration, this little guy here is gonna stimulate the vaginal opening. And it's often forgotten that the vaginal opening is loaded with nerve endings. This is a third pleasure point that's just as sensitive uh, as the clitoris or the G-spot. This is very, very good to stimulate this uh, your vaginal opening and getting that full stimulation at all three points. So you're going to be vibrating inside and out here. Also with this one, you're going to notice the shape, the way that you hold this. It fits ergonomically into your hand, kind of has these curves here. So this is one of my favorites to also have flex and bend here at the top. Also new to us at Nast Toys in our Anal Ease collection. We have 10, uh, I'm sorry, 10 functions, five different styles of the Anal Ease Alpha Plugs. These are all nice and small. They all have the little loop here, kind of like the finger loop, retrieval loop. Single uh, press and hold button on the bottom to turn on the power, and then the other button here to cycle through your 10 functions. And again, we have five different styles. And these are all 100% soft, silky silicone. The box on this is also nice and small, so it doesn't take up a lot of wall space. Right. And something kind of unique and different from us at NAS, we have a line of cock rings called the My Cock Ring Collection. These are all a little unique and different, kind of like not your standard cock rings. And this one is definitely not your standard. So this is 100% silicone, 10 functions and rechargeable. You're gonna press and hold this button here on the back to power on, press and hold to power off. Your charging port is on the side. I wanna point that out because that one's a little tricky. So the way that this will be worn if using with a penis vagina couple, and this part's gonna go around the base of the penis. You have this uh, lasso style, so it's nice and adjustable. You can fit for your comfort. And then this closed ended loop here where this can actually go around the testicles or can even be doubled around the base of the penis if they'd like. This little flexible silicone strip here at the top, this has its own little motor in here actually right here. It's a tiny little motor. And then you have a motor here with this almost little tongue looking guy. So the way that this works is this is gonna go right on in with the penis during insertion, just like that. And this little ball is gonna help stimulate the G-spot, and then the penis is gonna get all that vibration too. And then this part here is gonna be stimulating the clitoris. This works best if the vagina partner is on top and can control the penetration. I have had some people ask about, isn't this gonna pull all the way out or get in the way? Well. I have a six and a half inch penis right here. This is actually larger than the national average. So if I slip this on our, on our penis here, you're gonna notice this goes almost all the way to the tip. Most of the time when couples are having intercourse, you're not pulling all the way out and all the way back in on each stroke. Usually they're a little bit more shallow. So you're gonna notice here that it does stay in pretty well. 
This can also be used with penis to penis partners or can be used anally if we flip it around this way. And now this is gonna sit underneath and can stimulate the prostate on the other partner. And then we'll also stimulate uh, the testicles here for the other partner at the bottom. So different ways we can use this product. Also, I love cock rings uh, to put on any kind of hard body vibe. I'm gonna slip it on here for now. That you want to make into a dual stimulator. If you have a simple G vibe at home or a regular hard body silicone vibe that does not have a clitoral stimulator on it, you can turn it into one with any cock ring. You put that on there, and now you have your clitoral stimulator, and you even have. Um, some extra stimulation here, an extra vibrating part internally. Um, or some people even could turn this into a triple penetrator, do this vaginally and this part anally, even if you're brave. Okay, that's all the new products I have from NAS Toys. But before I go, I just want to touch real quick on how important it is to clean your toys. Um, we do have toy cleaner available from NAS Toys. We've always had a four ounce. We do now have an eight ounce size as well. We, this is also some new packaging. It's kind of a little bit cleaner than our old packaging was. These are very affordable. I do want to point out that I know um, there's been, again, some chatter about TPE, TPR, porous materials. We manufacture 2,500 items at NAS Toys. Um, a wide variety, all the materials. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with TPE, TPR, PVC products if they're made with quality ingredients and if they're properly taken care of. Also, uh, I make it really clear to customers that when buying a porous product, it's like buying a toothbrush. You have to replace it every once in a while and you need to watch for signs of wear and tear and when to replace. Uh, if a customer notices uh, one of their products starting to crack, or you know, kind of getting some crevices or some digs in the material, it's time to replace because now they're getting areas where bacteria can really get in there and grow. So just as important as it is to make sure that we're telling them how to clean them properly, it's important that we're telling them when it's time to replace that product as well. Um, with using toy cleaner, why do we need to use toy cleaner instead of soap and water? I know that there's a little bit of discussion about which is better or are they the same? But we need to remember at the end of the day that customers probably only listen to about half of what they tell us. They just want to get their product, put it in the bag, and they want to go home and have their good time. So if you tell them you can clean this with toy cleaner or soap and water, uh, and maybe you tell them a very specific soap, they're not going to remember what specific kind you said. All they're going to hear was soap and water, and they're going to go home and grab whatever vanilla, coconut, uh, cinnamon kind of hand soap from Bath and Body Works that they have at their sink. And that's what they're going to use to clean their toy. And I don't know about you, but I don't want any of those fragrancy soaps uh, or any of that fragrancy soap residue anywhere near going inside of my body. So I think it's just really important that we stress toy cleaner. It's so easy. You spritz it down, you rinse it off, you know, wipe it down, pat dry, air dry, put away. But just as important as it is to clean after, it's important that we clean before because we're usually storing our toys in our you know, bedside drawer, in a closet, on a shelf, somewhere out of sight, out of mind, where it may be collecting dust and germs and other kinds of bacteria. And we don't want to be putting that into our bodies either. So before you clean your toy, spritz, spritz, rinse, wipe clean, and then also after. All right, are our Hero Dongs silicone compatible? No, I would definitely water-based lubricants only. I am a true believer that unless the toy is um, stainless steel or glass um, or ABS plastic, I highly recommend water-based lubricants only. Um, kind of the same thing with the soaps. Different kinds of soap, um, even though it may be, you know, silicone is non-porous, so it might not cause quite as big of a deal. Different kinds of soaps can eat away at TPE, TPRs, different materials like that, and can actually dr uh, dry them out. It'll draw out moisture, and it'll speed up that process of deteriorating your toy. So just for, again, like making sure that the customer is doing what's best for their health and safety and cleaning the product properly, 
I just suggest toy cleaner all the way. All right, guys, any other questions for me today before I jump off here? That was all the new stuff I had to show you. Um, oh, one thing I talked about in the last that I forgot to mention today, and that is our warranty policy at Nastoys. Uh, we do offer a one-year warranty on everything that we manufacture. If the customer has any problem at all, we do not ask them to provide any kind of money for shipping or anything like that. We do not want the old product back. We just want them to be happy. Um, Elliot, the owner of our company, Elliot Schwartz, he takes all of these com uh, complaints and concerns very, very seriously. And so whenever we do have any kind of a, um, a scenario where we have to send a customer a replacement, we always test it in our warehouse before it leaves to make sure it functions properly. And we usually throw in a little extra goodie just as a, you know, I'm sorry for your inconvenience. Um, if it's been more than a year, that's okay. We will still take care of them. We just want them to be happy. We do like it if they have a receipt. Strongly encourage them to just take a quick picture of the uh, receipt when they check out. Just in case it is a defective issue, um, that way we can kind of track it and find out if this is maybe a larger scale defective or if it's just one or two here or there. Um, if they don't have a receipt, that's okay. We will still take care of them. It's just nice if they do for our purposes of being able to track the defective. Um, what if they just didn't like what they bought? What if they said, hey, I bought this vibrator here and it didn't do what I thought it was going to do and I'm mad and I want another one. That's okay. We manufacture 2,500 different items. I'm pretty sure that we'll make something that'll make them happy. At the end of the day, we will just hear the customer out and we'll do what we need to do for them to be satisfied. We know that you're on the front lines. You're the ones that are going to hear the, the complaints. They're going to come to you and be like, what do I do? Uh, so we strongly suggest that you direct them to email us at sales at nastoys.com. This is actually not sales related at all. It is just a general email to our HR uh, department in the office where they will handle any kind of returns or customer complaints. Um, store their toys in original packaging. Yes, I, I, I agree with that. I think it's a great idea for customers, if at all possible, to store in the original package. You're right, because then they'll always remember what manufacturer made that product. They'll know where to uh, do their warranty, uh, claim their warranty. And then they'll also have all of their care and cleaning information on that package as well. And even for these rechargeables, the uh, full charge and use on full charge times. So all of that's really important and a really good idea. All right. Any other questions for me today before I get out of here? What was the name of the Vibrating Conquering? Okay. This is the Vibrating Pleasure Partner in the My Conquering series. All right. I just want to thank everybody for being here with me again today. And, um, Hope you all had a really great Valentine's holiday and have the great rest of your week. Bye. Thanks, everybody.